Hi guys, so today I'm going to have some fun, I hope, with some of these items I just picked up recently from the Dollar Tree. Um, they had some really artsy kind of stamp sets, and a lot of times I've seen some of the other like stamp sets that are just not my style, so I'm like, eh, I just never pick them up. But this time around, when I went, they had some really nice ones. So I want to try some of those out today, maybe some of the stencil, like from uh, one of these stencils I had also picked up. There might be some other items I use that um, I can have affiliate links for, and those would be in the description box, and those uh, uh, links would mean I would make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links. And I do get questions from people that are like, I don't really know how those work. or So um, whenever I have a link, it'll pop you over to that website. The price of the item does not change. It's not any higher or anything like that. I might have a discount for you guys. So sometimes the discount is embedded like in the link, like uh, for Ecstasy Crafts. But just in case it's not, I also have the code that gives you 10% off whenever you purchase with them uh, using my link. And then I also have um, like with Diamond Press a discount code. And their links aren't actually affiliate links it's just when you use the code that's the affiliate relationship so it's always in the description box and then once you click over there generally whatever you pick up during that time will also be associated with my affiliate link so um, that's kind of how that works and then people ask about like monthly things like with spellbinders uh, yeah just the first month whenever you sign up if you use the link it'll count towards my uh, affiliate um, account I guess but other than that the next times it won't unless you like change something up and use my links again you know if you cancel and add a, a club or something like that um, but that's how that works so thank you guys for those questions and um, I'll you know make like periodic reminders about that because I do get those questions a lot in uh, the comments uh, but today what I think I'm gonna do is try to do something artsy and I did use this set uh, recently with my um, swap I used like a little B and I showed you guys a little B also and I forgot that this has some cute stuff in it what I'm hoping to do is like these guys all have some really fun kind of things going on I, of course the typewriter is what got me on this one um, is use this one it's very artsy I like the colors on this and I was like well, maybe I can use ink and like ink this area like a pinkish red and then maybe the leaves green and then maybe some like little brown or something here but then I thought well what if I use just like water based markers right um, so I have these that are always sitting in front of me and maybe these are the ones I'm going to use I don't know I forget if these are very brush like eh I might use a different set but either way we'll see um, maybe I'll still use these guys uh, and make something artsy and I do like that you have the simple like happy birthday and the pretty font and so I thought well maybe we can do something a little bit artsy like this and then maybe do a little stenciling um, just to fill up more of the space you know we'll see so um, let's get started I'm trying to think if I want to use the exact same one on this and then I don't know I suppose so so I'm going to cut down this piece of paper to be like a card topper so basically the main items I'll be using are from the Dollar Tree and to be honest you can probably even use Crayola markers for this kind of thing because um, I'm just going to use the marker like um, as the color right so 4 and 8 by 5 and 3 eighths is what I like to top off my um, A2 size cards and we're just going A2 today why not and let's have a sit down. What I'm going to do is put this on a stamping platform in case I do have to like re-ink or something. And um, so I'll get that ready and I'll grab my paper on there. I'm gonna put these guys to the side except for this stamp set. And let's try it out and hopefully this will work out. Um, these are acrylic stamps, so you know they they're gonna want to repel the ink. Um, photopolymer does the same thing, but not as badly. Uh, so we will see. How that works out for us again it's really stuck to this carrier which probably means later on in life it'll really get stuck to the carriers that's what happens with these kind of things get older I'm trying to think if I want it to be so yeah you know I'm gonna move this over just a little bit just to have some fun so it's not just like exactly in the middle of the page or however but that means I really want to stick this guy down something like that and yeah, I should probably get markers that are a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Let's see about this tender pink. I'm just going to scribble, scribble, scribble wherever I think it should be pink, which is basically all of this area. Not quite sticking to my mat there. Okay, and then some brown. This one's called bronze. Doesn't look like it's repelling too much, so that's good. So it looks like there's little drops in here, some little drops in here. I probably shouldn't have colored that part. And then some green. I don't know if I know I want to do forest pine, but I guess that's what we're going to go with. 
right? So it's pretty wet. I'll give it a little huff just in case, but it might be too, um, like scratchy. See? Yeah, that's what I thought. What's interesting about this is that it does have texture to it. It's kind of a weird stamp. Um, I'll show you that in a minute, but let's try it again. And see if it's the ink again rolling off, because if it is, maybe I can save this. I'm just going to do the flower part. It's not really touching the paper, is what it looks like also. Eh, no, no way. Mm -mm. Okay, let's try something else. Uh, let's see. I had high hopes for this, guys. Let me get... <laughs> I don't know, I'm reaching in here thinking I'm just going to pull out the right color, like... By surprise, let me grab a pink um, ink. I'll be right back, Cherry. And what I'm going to try to do is, yeah, it might be the stamp type. It's kind of interesting stuff. Let me. It's a really kind of weird stamp. <laughs> mm mm. Yeah, no. Let's turn this over and let's see what this stamp looks like, just in black because obviously that was just a waste of my paper. So I'm just gonna turn that over. And let's just do black ink and see what this is supposed to look like. And maybe we'll like that. I don't know. It's like digitized. I don't know how to explain it. Like the way it looks here, it has like little like etching. I don't know. Like, the image is drawn up by cross hatchings, you know? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I think it's just a weird image. Don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let me rethink what I want to do with these, because they are kind of odd. And I will be right back. So, I'm going to use this one down here. <laughs> Let's see how this works for us. Instead of that one, you know, I'll wash that off in a minute. And let's just put it, like, down this corner. It's not really the biggest stamp in the world. So we'll see how this goes. And the reason I'm saying that is because if I make that the focal point, it's kind of, eh, it's okay, you know. So let's get this. Let's put these guys back because that did not work at all. Um, you know, even with, um, what's that company? Uh, Art Impressions. You do the watercolor kind of technique where you color on there with your brush, you know, your pen, and it works, and it works. So I don't know if it's just, again, the design, not so much the material, but obviously Art Impressions uses um, good stuff. It's not <laughs> uh, cheap acrylic or the cheapest acrylic because some acrylics are really great and they work just fine, you know. Um, some aren't as good. Let's try this. And if this doesn't work, then I'm just, you know, going to be done with it. <laughs> I do have some outline stamps. I just like the look of this one. I think it's really pretty. Okay, not too bad. It's a I didn't get this section. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, guys. Kind of odd. Also, like, am I supposed to color some areas. That's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe I could add in a little pink here and there, but even this flower doesn't look quite right. Yeah, it's just too muddled. Hmm. Let's see if we can save it. I'll be right back. Save it and make it worse, but this is what I was saying. It has the outline, so maybe this is a better one for what I'm thinking, but that's okay. Let's take this part and let's just stamp some leaves, like, in here just to add a little more something. And I'm only going to ink up this back side of it, not really the stem, because the stem is kind of just in the way. Okay. Hopefully that does it. Yep. Well, it did, but not that part. Okay. Oh, that's very delicate. That's pretty. So that's a better stamp already. And then just include a few more over here, even though it's kind of... I don't know, something like that. And maybe what I'll do is just add like the smallest amount, a whisper of color, you know, just to kind of make this a little nicer. 
So this is a different stamp set, obviously. Okay, well, I mean, that kind of fills it out a little bit. And then we're going to do some stenciling and stuff, so let me go wash these things off. Let that dry before we add a little little watercolor. So up just a little bit, and basically I'm just going to get a water brush. And again, I don't squeeze this too much. Um, let's start with some of the greenery. I'm just going to put a little green, and I'm just keeping it on here. I'm just going to pop some color down, kind of get that going and just color some of these guys in just a little bit I was trying to go for less than that but that's okay so I start kind of down the center of the leaf so that when you bring the color out it's deeper in that center area and then kind of brushing it out a little bit more that one's okay and this is not <laughs> watercolor paper or even marker paper it's just regular heavyweight cardstock from like Hobby Lobby okay and then maybe down the stem a little bit I wasn't trying to add that much color I'll do the same thing with this one down here and the flower itself let's get some of this red down and I'm just gonna add a little color in the center and then just kinda bring it out this is not my favorite design <laughs> whatsoever. Um, it's hard to tell what is going on with the petals, but that's okay. So I'm trying to imagine if this is a petal and then bring out the color that way. I don't know. So that's what I'll just do. Start at the base, whipping some color out and getting it all over that. Okay. okay. I'll be right so back. that's what I have right now. I'm going to let that dry. I might hit it with a heat tool because I can see that it's kind of puffing up here, but you know, that's what we have. Not bad, not excellent, but you know, we're trying. Okay, uh, let's see. I want to do some stenciling too, but let me let this dry and then I'll be back. Right, so I'm just gonna put this paper down. And what I want to do is bring some stenciling. I got this French macaron, it's a very light color. It's a little bit yellow. I think it might look good. I just want something to kind of blend in the background. And I'm trying to think which one of these to use. I think maybe this guy, even though it has like a a shaping to it and I'm just going to sit that right on there kind of in a fun way and just kind of come in here just go the same way throughout the whole thing that way it's and just kind of bring it down towards the flowers Goodness. Okay, and then down here too, just to add a little more something. I'm just kind of avoiding the area, but it's not a big deal if you get in there. Yeah, it's something interesting. Okay, let me go clean off the stencil and I'll be a little back. more. See, I'm gonna add some black or dark blue. It's called Ink uh, Flex. Hopefully it'll look black. And what I'm doing is just getting some water. Going to really get those on there and just kind of flick it like this. And you hit it against your finger and it gets little flecks everywhere if you can see them. And the more you do that, you know, you can get a little more water. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Just quite a bit. Something like that, maybe a little bit back here. And I don't know if I like this for a whole card front, to be honest. <laughs> See how it's blue? That's funny. Um, so I think I'm going to let that dry. I might hit it with a um, heat tool and maybe just make a tag out of it, to be honest. Because I feel like if this is a whole card front and just a happy birthday, I don't know how I feel about some of these other parts of it. But I think if we cut some of that away, it would look better. <laughs> so I'm going to let that dry and I'll be right back. Actually, those little flecks really did kind of punch it up. But again, I just feel weird about what's going on back here. So I always have this little thing of like dies that I like to use and maybe I'll cut some of the sentiments with this if I can but I think something like that so you still see some of the leaves and some of the flowers cut and then also that it still catches this here so I'm gonna run that through and just make a tag of it guys so we learn some stuff you know try to have some fun <laughs> stamps are kind of not the easiest to work with but I'm gonna cut this out and I'll be right back so I do like the sentiments like on both sets that I showed you those both of the floral sets I think they even have a set that's like little birds which I didn't have at my local store but um, yeah I love that much better though like that to me looks very pretty I like it yes 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 okay um, 
Like I said, all these sentiments are really great. I love the happy birthday. I mean, it's so pretty, stylish, doesn't quite work anymore, but you know, I like you. Okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you's nice. Just a note, obviously, it's not gonna be just a note. Sending a card, uh, I like the sending a card instead of a text, which is really cute. Time for a happy dance. Uh, may your day be filled with good things. Thank you, wishing you well, so thankful for all you do. I mean, these are all really nice. Uh, a little note with the biggest thanks, you know, I would definitely use that on a card. I, I love it. Um, let's do this one just because it takes up some space, but I also like what it says. And also, you know, it's just something different um, for a sentiment. Like if it's a birthday gift, you know, may your day be filled with good things. I like that. Okay. And am I, dare I just go for it? <gasps> dare we? Okay, I guess we're going to. Uh, let's use Versifying, just so we know it really wants to stick to that acrylic. And since I'm just going for it, we need to know that. <laughs> let's go like right here. And I'm just <laughs> making sure I'm pressing everything. It is a harder acrylic, I will say. It's not like super squishy, so I suppose that's good. But I don't know if that's all that great, because when we did this stamp, it was kind of odd. May your day be filled with good things. All right. Well, you know, I like the final result. I don't know if I liked it for a whole card front, right? It was just kind of eh. Um, but learned some stuff and had some fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And if you pick up any of these supplies, let me know. I know that somebody had already left a comment saying that they said or they heard or saw in other videos that the stamps, some of them are defective or just not that great, you know? And um, I mean, you know, they're a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I, I will say it's kind of weird that they don't have a back carrier. They just put it right on the paper. So I guess that's a way of saving some money. Um, I don't know why I'm putting this in sideways, but there we go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I just want to have some fun, get my little mojo going, and uh, I think I did it. All right, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.